All right, so let's talk about another real world use of action 16 uh, that I think you guys might like. Real simple, let's say you look at a shot here and you say, you know what, this is, I need a few quick things done. And you might think, well, I can do healing and healing would work great. Healing is an amazing tool in Photoshop, but there's some areas that healing might be too big on. So I might need a uh, frequency separation or I might need dodge and burn. Well, if you look at a situation where you can solve specific areas quickly, you can do it all with action 16. So let's go ahead and run. I'm going to run the variable blur stack, which gives me three different blurring operators because I mean, it gives me three different blurring operators uh, in different layers so I can mix and match. Um, the original stack gives them all together so I can kind of compound them if I want to. I can Gaussian blur median or I can, you know, median Gaussian blur, etc. This gives me a little bit more flexibility. So let's have some small issues here that I want to solve. So I'm going to go to median and I'm going to try it a little bit stronger, like a 20. Okay, now it's ready to go there. Cool. Now I'm gonna to try to blur up just specific areas. Now it's gonna look suspiciously like healing as I'm doing this, but what well, the good news is I can use larger areas. As long as I look, I feel like the transitions that I'm creating with the blurring are okay, then I'm in great shape. See that? Just kind of blurring out some areas, starting with median, may add some some Gaussian on some spot. There's a reason Gaussian's above on the layer stack. I'll blur out some of that, why not? And some of that dark area there. Okay, so, so there's some areas there that I feel like I've helped. Okay, now, maybe in here? Nah, not in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take my mask that I just created and I'm gonna hold down alter option. I'm gonna drag it into like high. Not bad, but I don't like it. A little too smooth. So I'm gonna go into medium high. That is not bad, off, on, off, on. But I want some more smoothing, so I go to Gaussian, make it a little bit stronger, like 20, but I'm gonna lightly work with this now. So something like right here on this little bump, can smooth that out, see that? Can smooth this area out some more on top. Very, very subtle, extremely subtle, obviously. Okay, but I can just smooth out, Oop, don't have texture there, but I have some area there I can do. Something like that. And then of course I can always bring texture back wherever I got rid of it if I wanted to. Something like that. And if I look at the whole situation and go, well, yes, but I want smoother texture still. I mean, look at the chin right here, what we've done on the chin just from this work, that to that. We've kind of done a hybrid, if you will, of healing and frequency separation, but a little more blended, a little less obvious, right? So we can always come in and if you don't want to recover the texture on those areas, the little dots, whatever, you could just quickly paint those out and it's basically healing is what we're doing there now. Um, but we have the flexibility of all of it. You can go healing, fine, and then you can run frequency separation and do that, fine, or you can do it this way and you're kind of doing it all at once. You see, I'm kind of healing out specific areas um, as if it was a healing brush, but I still have everything, okay? And it's because I'm controlling frequencies. That's the key. I'm controlling frequencies. So this area here that has a bigger frequency, I can remove the blur, and now it's too blurry, but I can go to high texture and bring it back with a higher frequency and bring back only the texture I want to bring back. See that? So now that divot, if you will, was removed because I found the exact frequency that works. I blurred it out and then I remove certain areas. High frequency is like dots, which can be healed. It's just a matter of not bringing them back. That's why I did it with black on the black mask and the higher textures, okay? And then overall, if I just feel like it, I can use the very high, extra high and I can give these areas an overall fine sharpening, bringing back the finest textures, just to kind of bring that back off, on, off, on. So you see the details that we did there? It's not necessarily a full skin workflow, but it gets the job done quickly, but with a little more detailed control and with flexibility. Sort of what I call, like I said, healing and frequency separation, kind of all at the same time. We just mix and match. And once again, don't be thwarted by the huge layer stack. You just stamp to a new layer. When you're done, get rid of your layer stack and you keep rolling with your edit. 
no problem at all. Action 16, part of our pro series. We'll have more tips and tricks constantly being put up by myself and other ambassadors for MVP to let you guys know how to use these pro series because they're extremely powerful, but they can be, like I said, daunting at first. When you run that action and that layer stack, it's huge. So that was just another real world example to quickly fix up a few things in case I want to heal and frequency separation essentially at the same time.